So I'm serving up today SX Nix, I think L1. I, I, I actually don't know if that, I think it's supposed to be an L. Doesn't really matter because the map itself is just called SS Nix, which stands for Super Sumo Nix. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty awesome capture the flag map, especially aesthetically, as we'll see. I am pretty certain I've played this one before on like some uh, Palermo, the first custom map I did. I have pretty vivid memories of this one, though I've only maybe twice. I, I, I just simply, like, I wanted to say, I can't obviously tell the exact times. It wasn't often, but whenever this came up, it was a real treat to play. Um, I should specify that we're actually playing a version of the map. It is the SS Nix Ect F E C E C T F C version of it, which is um, a fixed version because of an error that we'll see in the README here. Um, I renamed it SS Nix One or Eleven. I, I I I'm pretty sure it's Eleven, lowercase. Um, in order for it to work with Foxbox, because that was the version of the map that the waypoint was created for. Um, uh, yeah. There's actually quite a few things I want to show you. Well, actually, I, I say quite a few. I mean two things I want to show you. First, the readme, of course. So, yeah, SS Nix, Ekfix. Yeah, see, just what, what I was talking about. Then my set is someone named Daniel Super Sumo Gleason. Um, and I think this website might still be a, a, online. I might be able to show you in a second. So, yeah, here you go. This is the ECTFC e e version of Nix. It is identical to SS Nix. Let's. I, I'm. I'm it's a lot L. It's L. It's L! Except it now has flag info and a lower entity count. So soldier, sentry guns and flags will show up. Thanks for using my map again. So apparently, yeah, it was glitched at one point. It's good that they went back and fixed it. And this seems to be the most downloaded version of it from what I can understand. So that's good. I capture the flag, defend the flag map. I made it for 9 versus 9, but you can play it however you like. I recommend 12 versus 12, just so you know. 10 team points are given if the offense captures the flag, and 5 team points are given if the defense holds the flag for 5 minutes untouched. In case you were wondering, Nyx is the Greek, go Greek goddess of night. I am pretty damn certain that is true. So here's some credits and thanks. Clan AGT for letting me play with them for 2 years now. I got input and support from most of the members on this map and helped me to finish it. Wild Build Gates for playing with me since I started. It's been a blast playing with you over 3 years. Danger for helping me when I was a wee mapping noob. He showed me how to how to do a lot of stuff, and he must have been annoyed at all the questions. Colon right bracket, circle bracket. Fry guy, sheesh, man. He helped me so much in the creation of this map. It's crazy, especially with the hold the flag for points part. The conceit for making the overview of my map. I totally forgot to make one. Thanks, all the people at, at uh, T uh, TF mapped. They helped me with the little annoying bugs that popped up when I didn't know what I was doing. Thanks. Well, that's nice. That's always nice seeing people get thanked. So here's some play information. Deathmatch. Yes. Team play into TFC. If you're wondering, I always felt this is a holdover from, like, you know, the Quake days of mapping or maybe even Doom days. When you'd have to specify, like, what mod to use. Because remember, Team Fortress, which is the basis of this game, would be um, a ma something you'd have to download o over Quake. So that's probably why the, where these came from. So you can tell people right away, no, it only works in Team Fortress. I assume. I have no idea. Single player, no. Map description, two bases, red and blue, separated by a pit. This is true, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. How many players? 6v6 and up would be a good range, I think. Map for information, yes, my face, my thank you wall, and six hidden sumos. New sounds, no. Construction, all from scratch, except the steam coming from the pipe under the flag. I used a tutorial for that. Colon, right circle bracket. Ha editors used hammer. See, hammer became, Worldcraft became hammer, 3.4. Some other compiled stuff. Stuff, things people haven't heard of ever, apparently, in this day and age. Compile time, one hour, 50 minutes, 54 seconds. Design time, about half a year with long breaks. That is insane. Compile log, yeah, here's, if you, sometimes people would do this just to show you, like, you know, what, what the compiling of the map looked like. I'm not going to go through this. Copyright permissions. SS, uh, SS underscore Nix underscore FC, 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 is copyright 2002, which is funny because the map file itself is coming up. Uh, April 20th, 2004. Ah, ha, 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 ha,
all rights reserved. You can use ideas from my map, but I would like it if you emailed me about them, because I would like to see how they came about. Colon! Right circle bracket. If you disturb my map, it please include this file also. Alright. Simple enough. And now what's crazy here is that I think... I think... This is a newer version of their website. Obviously that old uh, URL doesn't seem to exist anymore. But yeah, here it is. Found this on Google. 2014, Daniel Gleason, Super Sumo. So, uh, I guess maybe I should do this one at some point. I've never actually played any of the Quick 2, um, like, you know, Capture the Flag maps, interestingly. Like, the mod for that, 3 Foot Wave. We're getting off topic. SS Nix is my second map for TFC. It was the first completed map I have ever made. I am very proud of it. It will be played in STA during December 2002. Which is, I think that's a tournament. I, I swear I've seen those before. It's a vanilla calf to the flag map, but if the defense hold the flag for five minutes, quite a hard feat to do on this map. Whoa. Then they score five points to the team. It took me a few months to build because I was learning how to use Worldcraft at the same time as making the map. I also took large breaks to think about layout and other things. Anyway, I think it's a good map. Other people think the same. And it's got good reviews from sites. So I think you would like it also. I wonder, are they still doing anything? Wow. TFC again. Wow, this is eight years ago. I'm not reading this, though, because I'm an idiot. Wow! Yeah, so here we go. It's one of those maps where they put a little bit of, a, like, a... Like, introduction or something in the map. I've seen this a few times, in other words. All right. It's mostly a repeat of the other things for... Like, we already read for in the, uh... Read me here. Try to find the six hidden sumos. I might... I don't know. I really don't know. This is a hidden room, if you can't tell, but I'm not sure how to get here. So yeah, when I said I really like the aesthetics of this map, I really like the aesthetics of this map. It, the, the, the light choices in this map are just fucking exquisite. Like, I love this kind of like really dark ma kind of map only lit up by like, you know, a, like, you know, light artificial lights in the map and stuff like that. Really color focused until, so you know what map, like, you know, side of the map you're on immediately. So yeah, I recommend 24 because even though it's probably fine with 32, the center part just gets a little bit too busy for its own good. So yeah, do 24. Um, I'll bring this up, this kind of like little stuff down here in a second. But yeah, let's talk over the base. So you got this like, obviously taking inspiration from like, you know, two fort stuff like that. You got a sniper area here, which isn't as big as some other maps. So it's really easy to, I feel, to chuck grenades up there and mess with them. You got your entrance here. This is the only entrance aside from this stuff, which we'll talk about here in a bit. You got to be careful because, you know, there's this little wrap around here. Efficient use of grenades is good, though I don't really think I need to tell you that. You get this little center area here where you can immediately go into the uh, main kind of heart of the base, which is a bad idea because there's a lot of places to build sentries. You can build them up here, up here. You can build teleporters here, and there's a spawns here. Try to avoid this area if you can. Instead, uh, you want to try to take the upper left. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remembered. I remembered. I was worried for a sec that I misremembered something. You want to go this way, because even if it's longer, there's less immediate opposition. Uh, you do have to watch out, though, because people on the uh, defending team will be building up here, because this is where their capture point is. So, you know, they might be building sentries up here already. Of course, if they're paying attention, they will, because, you know, this links right into there. And this is yet another way to get to the flag here, because the flag is in the lower level. Uh, we'll talk about the flag room over here. Let's go take a look at the spawn point, because, you know, why the hell not? Uh, the nice thing about this map is that, yeah, they, uh, he labels the grenades things with this little thing here. And those respawn really fast. And you seem to, at all times, you just continuously respond with, stu respond with stuff in the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The little spawn room here, so that's cool. So yeah, here's where that, that little staircase leads to. There's two ways to get to it from the outside here, so do be really careful if you're thinking of taking this way. Because the sentry might look over and notice you. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this area over here. So this is how you can get to, one way you can get to the flag room. You gotta press a button, which is the bane of my existence. And if you press this, it will actually take away this little bridge here. And I think once you do that, you're stuck in there. I don't think there's actually a way to get up unless you rocket jump or conk jump or anything up. Here's the flag, of course. Quite an open area with a lot of opportunities for demo man, sentries, um, heavy weapons guy to stand. So, you know, you gotta use a lot of strategy here. Now, speaking of that, too, there's also this little area here for sniping. You know, so you can be even more of a prick. So this is really well defended. This is a pretty hard map to defend from what I remember playing. Obviously not with the bots, because there's a little error I'll have to point out later. 
Oh, uh, so yeah, here's some ways to go. Here's that upper area. If you can't guess, this is going to lead. It's a nice little cool water thing. I think this might actually be important. I don't know. This leads into that flag area over here. So you have a couple options how you want to get back out. And, you know, obviously trying to go through here with the flag could be a little bit suicidal. But it is an option. It's also the way that, obviously, if you're defending, you're going to want to take this way. It's just faster. Um, and obviously, there's another layer to the defense here. Because if you're defending, you can press this damn button here at the right time. And the flag person will fall down and just get totally, like, ass-wiped. And that's no fun. So, yeah, coming back this way, too. Let's talk about that little pit area. Those little pit rooms. I was Like, you know, I showed earlier. Now, you can fall... Obviously, if you fall down this way, you're probably going to die. Nice sumo. Um, you know, so I don't recommend falling down all the way. But what can happen here is that if you go this way, uh, you're going to notice that on both sides is this little area with these, like, this broken bridge, right? Well, if you're careful and you jump over it, uh, you can come up this way. And this actually leads to this area over here, which, again, be careful, be careful. And do expect the enemy the defending team to build defenses here. But if they've been, uh, you know, neglecting this side, there's a nice other way to get into the uh, flag room. Now, I don't know. I'm not certain if you'd be able to jump back up. That also, that is a little bit annoying. I wouldn't have had the red team, by the way, too. I wouldn't have had the sound effect play there, but oh well. I think it may be possible to jump back up. And then, you know, you have an easy way to capture your shit. But you know, I don't. I'm not. I'm not claiming that's possible because I haven't ever attempted it. It seems really possible. Now, if I remember correctly, hmm. There's a secret room in this map. I don't know how to get to it per se. I think it has something to do with like this area here. I might be entirely wrong, and it's pretty damn dark, so I can't really tell you. Anyway, let's go. I'll, I'll at least show it to you real quick. I think it's. And I'm cheating. But then again, I don't know if these map designers ever counted the fact that you could just use the goddamn no-clip mode. So yeah, there's that the beginning area over there. Now, where is it? It's on one of those sides here. Ah, here it is. I'm gonna really call it, like, you know... I don't know, like, I actually don't know how you get here. Or if this is even anything to do with the secret room, but yeah. Yeah, that's the person who made this map, I suppose. I wonder if they still have that haircut. We'll never know. I can't overstate, though, really. I just love this. I, You know, there's something Ravelin did, and, you know, I feel like he, like this is doing the same kind of thing. I, I don't know what it is about, like, you know, kind of dark interiors. I, I guess dark's a little bit, like, you know, stretch here, but you know what I mean, where it's, like, it's a very clean... The lights are very clean, but then the area is really kind of, like, dark. Like, the actual, like, rest of the building. You know what the art style I'm trying to say here is? Tron-like, almost, but, you know, not quite that. Not that I don't like Tron minimalism too, but you know, this is not exactly what I'm looking for here. It, but basically, stuff like Ravelin, and, you know, those kinds of maps. I just like the con. I just like lighting. I just like colored lighting. That was my old uh, standby whenever I used to stream. I would always like just circle jerk over any time a game really took advantage of colored lighting because everything's just so dull looking in a lot of like you know modern games. Maybe not really, but you know. Now, uh, I did kind of touch up on the fact that, you know, Foxbot had a little bit of a quirk here. And the but Foxbot mostly works just fine on this map. Like, you can totally have a match with them and it'll work just great. Um, but two things. Um, one being that, you know, the, the pit shortcuts or the pit entrances, they will not ever, never attempt to use. Um, I just, I guess, I think they're just afraid of falling down and dying. So, like, that kind of sucks. Um... Don't spam respawns. I like that little message. Be kind now. Don't be don't be a dick now. We're all here to have fun. Which is true. That's what TFC is about, honestly. It's not about winning. It's about having fun. I truly, unironically mean that. Anyway. Uh, but the other thing is, is that they actually will never try to capture the flag. They will totally grab it. And like, you know, you think they're going to go to the capture point. But they will never actually attempt. I'm going to be safe. They will never actually attempt to go to the capture point with it. They'll just keep trying to attack the enemy base. So that kind of sucks, but that's really minor. Like, you could totally have fun with Foxbot in this map, just putting that out there. Still, though, it would have been nice if they'd actually... Again, I, I don't know if that's a glitch. I'm pretty sure that's not a glitch with the waypoint. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch with Foxbot. I mean, technically, this version of the map is even supported by Foxbot. I had to change the name of the map. 
All right, I'm getting low on health, but I want to see if my theory holds true that I can just rocket jump back up that way. I want nothing to do with you. Go away. The box never come down this way either, though, so I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, I got healed up. Never mind. There you go. I love rocket jumping. It's I, I don't play soldier enough, so, but every anytime I do, I, I really like it. Hmm. Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! There you go! That's how you win matches in this map! I guarantee you, 100% ultimate strategy right there. I mean, don't die right on the entrance there. Oh, fuck off! And now you know what's gonna happen? My team's gonna keep rushing back over there with the flag by like a bunch of idiots. Watch! Watch! I guarantee you, all my hard effort's gone for naught. Damn it! Damn it! I changed my mind. It's not about winning. It's about winning. Except it is about winning. It's not about winning. I don't know what I'm talking about. See? Took it right over there. What a charlatan. What a complete and utter unit. Learn to jump, lad. It's over. It's over. We've lost. We biffed it. You biffed it. You biffed it. You guys biffed it for me. Well, how could you do this? It's not biffed. It's still anyone's game. It is still anyone's goddamn game. Let's go. I have chance for redemption. I believe I can fly. No. Don't you idiots! Don't you even dare! Don't you guys dare touch this flag! It is mine! I have to do the heavy lifting because you guys are such losers that you can't figure it out! Red team holds their flag! Alright, good for them. I mean us. There you go. Alright, we're gonna be medic. I wanna see if I can uh, conk jump back up from that, like, you know, little pat, like, you know. The, uh, what sword I'm looking for? The secret tunnels. The pit tunnels, if you will. Alright, I think the, uh, medic should be fast enough to actually... I, I, I don't know if uh, how many classes could jump this. Like, I'm pretty confident most classes could. Just be careful if you do that. Because there's a little slope here and it's really easy to just not pay attention and actually walk off. I've done that a few times. Anyway. This is actually a great place to build teleporters, too. And I think the bots... Might actually occasionally use a teleporter, and if they do, I think they'll actually go this way. But when I last played it, they seemed to be kind of avoiding the teleporters. So I don't know if that had something to do with the waypoints or something like that. Because I've seen the bots come down this way, actually. Like, they actually figured out, oh, hey, wait a minute. We're getting invaded. But see, can't you hear them now? I went the wrong way! I went the wrong way! I went the wrong way! I gotta go the other way! Oh, goodness. My goodness! I have made a grave mistake. And now I can't remember where to go. I gotta go up here. Yes, this is... I'm so lost! I am lost! Did I not get back up this way? Surely I can use the elevator. Okay, never mind. Now that looks like a Mario 64 elevator. Yep! Good to see the cavalry still has to figure out where to go. And I think the waypoints might actually be bugged out here because they just seem to never come this way. And again, yeah, the medic should be able to jump this, no problem. There you go. Again, be careful, though. Alright, so let me see if I can fly now. Yet yeah, not a fu Okay, actually, that was really damn close. Did you see that? I almost fell off, but yeah, there you go. Scouts, medics, and demo uh, soldiers could get back up from that way. So I wonder if that's, like, the intended strategy, if you will. Shit! You know, though, it's a little, like, funny thing there. If I'm gonna get, like, you know, all my supplies rapidly, so, like, like given to me as I'm walking out the door there, why not just have me st spawn with all the supplies, like, fully loaded up? I'll never understand how, like, spawn points, and people design spawn points in these maps, or this game. Oh, it is so easy to cover the distance between maps, like, no problem. This is actually the opposite. Or, like, you know, of how I feel. Like, you know, remember in 2 Fort and, like, you know, a lot of other maps, I brought out how the main bridge area is mainly there just to kill, like, you know, stalemate. And, like, you know, not nothing really gets done. It's just busy work. Because, ideally, you're just blocking... Having this bridge under constant fire at all times so the other team can't walk through. And it really, like, they give a per like, you know... You know, and you're never actually expecting to make it across to the other base. This map is not like that. You can totally get across to the other bases. You've seen how many times the blue people were in our doorway, basically. So, I like that. I actually really like that from a design point of view. Um, that, you know, the main center area is actually technically viable, though. I'm going to always go with the, um, 
the bottom area. I also like, too, how that pack fills up both teams here. It makes it going this way more worth it because you'll actually survive. I mean, again, on a real server, someone's building sentries and, like, you know, defending here. But you know what I mean. There's actually a chance in hell that the attacking team can actually take that way. Because you're going to get damaged. Like, uh, even just the few seconds you're in the, like, main area. I swear I've seen the bots this way. I swear to God. Nope. Actually, what I was thinking of doing was trying to see if I could conk jump over into my base. That that might be a good strategy. I want to test that because I've already captured the flag twice. So I, I, I we know, essentially, that conk jumping from there and rocket jumping from there up onto the middle area is going to work. But I want to see if, like, you know, considering if that was too unsafe, could you um, jump over to the other side with the conk jump? I don't know if a, I don't think a soldier could rocket jump. It just the distance just seems too far, and the class is just a little too slow. But you know, it feels possible, like for a, like a scout or medic to conk jump. So I want I really want to test this out, considering that they don't seem too um, motivated to actually defend their flag. You know, I, I can keep going over there pretty much all I want. Actually, I'm curious. Can I use these? Is this game is going to stop me? Yeah. See, that makes sense. You don't want to let the, like, right in the flag room, you don't want to let the enemy player, you know, heal up. It's just, it'd be bad design. Like, I mean, this one, it's, like, still quite a bit of ways to go before you're, you're at the flag room, so, you know. I'm just, you know, I'm thinking as a designer. I'm thinking as a designer. Oh, that seems possible, but the damn bridge, I hit my head. Okay, I wouldn't recommend it necessarily. Let's go with that. It seems like it's really possible though. And I'll give it a shot with this the scout because the scout is so much faster that I wonder if he'll just make it he'll cover the distance with his higher speed before he hits his head on like the what's the word I'm looking for? The uh bridge, if you know what I mean. Also too, he should be totally able to just make that no problem. Yeah. Scout is ideal for crossing that, but, you know, that's pretty obvious bullshit. I don't know why I'm saying it. And, yeah, this kind of proved my point. I fell down here by accident. You can't jump back up. Only way back up is the conk now. And fuck it up, because you're an idiot. There you go, that's better. Oh, well, I still have one to get try out what I, the little thing I want to experiment with, so. Alright, if I don't do it this time, I'm going to give up. I'm totally going to give up. Oh, 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 yeah, that's great. That's excellent. Totally pro strats. There's no, you, you're totally playing with fire when you do like totally count, like, you know, conk jump across. God, this aesthetic is just incredible. Look at it. Look at it. Not a fucking problem. We got this in the bag. Though, of course, with how easy it is for the blue team to get across here, or conversely, the red team to get across. Don't count your, like, you know, don't count your chickens before they hatch, of course. I mean, that's also probably a good way if the blue team or, or whatever is really, like, you know, whole, like, you know, keeping you trapped in your base. You could try to do that to, like, find a way, another way out into the enemy base. It's probably super inefficient and too, way too long in a real match, but still, that's a possibility. That's a po it's most certainly a possibility. What? Oh my god! I spoke too soon! Speaking of counting chickens before they hatched! Oh my god, the bots are wising up! I love it! I've been forced this way, so this is not gonna end well at all. Maybe he's gone. I, I really don't want to go that way. Oh god, he's still there. Oh, I can't use anything! Go, idiot! Sucker! Fool! You fool! You fool! I'm gonna be so hard. I am gonna be so fucking hard if this works. Well, it was. I did make it over. I made it under. I forgot to jump. So I'm semi chubbed. Alright, so now I gotta be a little bit cautious because now they're semi aware that someone's actually crafting their base by coming. their flag by coming this way. Though it just seems to be Little Pimp as a scout. Which, you know, I, I really wouldn't say that'd be the best idea for, like, defense. You know, just a thought. I don't know, I kind of want to, because the map's probably almost over. I really want to see if this medic could do it. 
I think you just have to angle it in a really, really specific way, you know? So, like, it's like, it basically you're getting hit by the... Well... Yeah! Oh, fuck yeah, that is beautiful! Okay! Even better, so you can actually make it that way as a medic, but you have to get hit by the concussion blast basically right at the edge, so it pushes you... Maximum horizontal, like, gain versus vertical gain, you know, if that makes any sense. Doesn't seem easy in the heat of the moment, though, but oh well. Oh my god, that was so close that it was close, yeah. You for real? I blame Alfonso! Yeah, I, I, I want to show off what my favorite little um, sentry position in this map is. You would not think that you could build anything in this little spot here. But if you do it just right, you could actually build a fucking sentry right here. I did not think this would be possible. And this is so easy to maintain because, you know, you, well, first you got to turn it just right. So it's going to go 45. Well... I'll explain real quick. Let me just disconnect. Put it there. Then rotate 45 and then do 180 so it'll face the right way. Then you literally just have to walk. You don't even have to go into your um, like spawn point all the way. You just need to go through the door so that automatic refill happens. And you can have like a, a level 3 sentry build up in like, like, you know, barely like 20 seconds. That is a ridiculously efficient place to do like you put stuff. So yeah, that's why that main area, you want to be taking that under area as much as possible. Because that for that one, it, like, it is so easy. It is so easy to well defend that, like, main kind of heart of the base, you know? Uh, yeah, that was SS Nyx. I think it's top quality. Maybe not quite, like, you know, well, or, like, even, you know, Warpath level of good. Or, like, you know, that kind of shit. Battleground, like, you know, Badlands. But, you know, it's it is really up there. I totally recommend it.